You're here with uh, legendary winemaker Andy Seppelt and showing his uh, new Primitivo 2012, which obviously the Italians call Primitivo, the Yanks call, God bless them, Zinfandel. Um, tell us uh, what was the inspiration behind this one, uh, Andy? Yeah, probably poor decision making, really. It was um, <laughs> we uh, had some Primitivo growing right next to Zinfandel in the Barossa, and I really thought it was interesting to see how different they were as they grew. They're genetically the same, of course, but. Yep incredible differences and the Primitivo for my money is so much better it, it it ripens earlier so you don't have to have the massive alcohols that a lot of Zinfandels have okay yep it's got sort of that bl blue fruit pretty note mm -hmm. uh, really friendly for dining with, with this sort of wine and yep. so I just fell in love with it it just it's only about seven or eight months in, in barrel just into the bottle and down the throat and where do you see uh, this evolving to maturity wise in terms of selling for people yeah, look, I'm, I'm, Jerry's out on that one. I would have thought probably a, a good 10, 15 years because it's certainly got the tannic structure. Yeah. Although it's not big tannins, it's got no. a good, good length yep. uh, after a bit of time on the skins. I reckon it'll evolve to be something pretty special, I think. Really interesting wine, you know, real uh, distinctive, uh, you know, savoury character as well as, you know, some lovely uh, vibrant fruits. So great wine, well done, Andy. Thanks.